It's almost Christmas, a holiday that is very hard to celebrate in Korea away from our families. For the past seven years I've been living in Korea, I have made homemade eggnog. Now wait a second, some of you guys heard eggnog and you're like, Oh my god, that's disgusting. I know, the name eggnog sounds totally disgusting. It is made with egg, wait, wait, don't go away. And nog, I don't know what the nog part is, but it's actually super delicious. Do you like vanilla ice cream? Do you like custard? Do you like milkshakes? Do you like anything delicious like what butterbeer might taste like in your mind? Yeah, then you're gonna love eggnog. You can drink it cold, you can drink it hot, you can add coffee to it, you can have it as dessert, you can spike it with rum or bourbon or cognac or whatever you want to do and it's a totally awesome delicious treat. To the kitchen! So the ingredients are divided into three sections. You're doing something on the stove, you're doing something with a whole lot of eggs, and then you have ingredients that you're gonna add like an hour after you chilled the mixture. So I've got the milk, cloves, cinnamon, and the vanilla inside of a pot on the stove, and I'm just gonna have it on the lowest possible setting. You do not want this to boil. And I started that first because it's gonna take a while. We're gonna be adding this to our egg mixture in case you were wondering why I cracked all the eggs in such a gigantic bowl. Because eventually, this will be going into here and back on the stove again. So you don't wanna start it off in a big pot and then have to transfer it to another pot. We did that like every year, do you remember Ducky? Yep. We were like, why did I do? This year I remembered. I remembered! It only took you seven years. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas is ruined! You don't make out with the cat now. Please don't make out with the cat yet, I just started. <laughs> What you're looking to do is to combine the sugar and the egg yolks until it becomes something that's kind of ribbony. So if you take a look at this, like if I lift it up with the whisk, see how it kind of falls in that kind of ribbony pattern? And if, if it falls onto it, you can kind of see it for a bit. Now you can see why I started the milk in advance because this takes about one Christmas carol to whip actually. So if I had an electric beater, this would be a lot faster, which I do not. This is totally ready to go, and what we're gonna be doing is, once the milk is warm, we're gonna be tempering the eggs, and tempering the eggs is cooking them very slowly. If you take that hot mixture, and you dump it in here, because you're impatient, and you just go like, oh, it'll be fine, you will just scramble your eggs, and there's no recovery. You will have scrambled eggs floating around like chunks of egg. Don't do it, you take your time. And now I wait for the next, however long. Memes, you and me time. No, me down. It's so wonderful. He grows me every day. Ah! Oh. He sneezed on my face. Hey. Can I stick my face in that like pot of egg stuff right here and lick it? No. This stuff right here. You, didn't you tell me there's a Polish thing where you beat egg Kogel Mogel! It is! That See? sounds like a character from Final Fantasy. Kogel Mogel! The Kogel Mogel has Kogel appeared! Kogel Mogel! Kogel Mogel! Are you sure that's not a Final Fantasy character? Kogel Mogel! Did you make this up? No. Polish people confirm for me. I can actually hear it trying to bubble. It's making like a sound. I'm killing the heat. Okay, now for the next slow and painful part. What we're gonna do is add a tiny ladle full of this scalding hot milk to the egg and sugar mixture while we ferociously beat the egg and sugar mixture.
So if you put your hand on the bowl down here that you're beating here, you can feel it getting warmer, which is good because you're trying to get this to like the same temperature so that the eggs don't scramble. That's the tempering part of this. This is pretty much the same temperature now. So now I'm just gonna take, whoa, that got really high up. I'm gonna take the rest of this milk mixture and I'm just gonna dump it in. Uh, yeah. Lots of good cinnamon left in here. Beautiful. This smells so good. Okay, you're gonna pop this whole thing back on the stove. You're gonna put it on medium heat and you're gonna try to bring it not to a boil, but you're gonna kind of cook it and let it thicken for about three minutes or so. And you wanna kind of stir it constantly because it can burn quite quickly. And then we're almost done, people. Pop this in the fridge to cool for about an hour or so. So an hour's gone by and in that time period I used my leftover egg whites to whip up a light angel food cake in my rice cooker. So the eggnog is nice and cool and we're gonna be pouring it into a really big container to strain out the cloves that are floating about. And we're gonna be adding in four cups of cream so you actually need a big enough container to mix this all up. Please don't tip. Yeah, it's not tipping. Oh yeah, look at all that cinnamon at the bottom there. Look at that ingenuity. Go, go, go! No! It's your fault that this fails. <laughs> You're like, look at that ingenuity. I'm like, don't say that! It would have worked if you had said nothing! Doesn't matter, it still worked. <laughs> Did it? Yes! <laughs> it still worked! Are you sure you didn't dump yeah, all your shit in there? I didn't. Okay, fine. It's gonna be the grossest egg nog ever. It's not! It's fun. There's nothing. <laughs> look! You have like floating pews. There's nothing. Why would there be? <laughs> What time is it right here? 2.50 a.m. And yes, I have pictures of my wife on my watch. Shut up. I really like you. <laughs> okay, let's pour in the stuff. Oh, these are all dirty. <laughs> <laughs> these are all... I picked up one, then I picked up the other. Cato! Cato! It's Christmas. Okay, you're adding in the cream. On... Ceremoniously. It's in. Now we're adding in the final touches with vanilla and nutmeg. This is really up to you regarding how you like this to taste. Okay, come on in. Come on into the zone. Get on in here. Oh yeah, look at that. All right, now here comes the decision with the rum. You should be using a golden or light rum. Do not use white rum. You can actually add this in now, but I'm gonna leave a little bit out on the side because I would like to have eggnog for breakfast with a shot of espresso inside of it instead. Now, are you gonna label one as alcoholic and one? You can as tell from the color. Can you? Cause that looks pretty darn similar. Hmm. That's it. That's homemade eggnog. It only took until four in the morning. And you can click on the link below, and I'll take you to the blog post with the actual instructions on how to make this. Hope you guys try this out. Even if you don't try it out for Christmas, try it out for any kind of holiday because eggnog is freaking awesome. And let me know if you made it. Merry Christmas and see you next year because it'll be 2016. Get it? And you're not pretty cutie. Kitty's way asleep. Hey, buddy. <laughs> <laughs>